What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at the highlight of Bayern Munich players, Bayern Munich, and these are free players. So you can get three free players here. As you see, we already have one. So we just get one with a login bonus. Uh, you can see here in my inbox, I also have a lot of other free stuff to get. This is the campaign that they're running at the moment. So once you claim all of these, you will have all of these, but I will wait for my live stream Monday to do that. But you can also win two more free spins at this agent as well with the victory campaign against the challenge AI or the, against the AI in the challenge. So all you have to do is go in, enter into that, play the two matches. You can play on any difficulty and it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, all you need to do is win the games. You can play on the lowest difficulty and bang 15 goals in if you want to just uh, mess around or else have a real challenge on legend, which, you know, is kind of a, a challenge sometimes. But anyway, we are going to head in. We're going to do it quick and... Uh, yeah, try and, co try and cover everything that we possibly can. We will spin at the end. I always forget to spin my free one at the end, but we will do that at the end. Um, we are over on our Road to Glory uh, account here, so our profile. So you have Up Meccano, you have Coleman, you have uh, Goretzka, Gnabry, and Moting. So I think the pick of these lads is probably going to be Goretzka and Coleman. Uh, we will get into it in a second, but as I said, there's five players. You get three of the five. I thought we'd get all five with the Napoli and the Barcelona, but it looks like it's just going to be any three. So you can get lucky and you can get unlucky as well. On our other account, we actually spun and I think we got three. Yeah, we got Coleman, Gnabry and Moting. So um, we are going to take a quick look here at the cards. Obviously, they all go to a 94 overall, apart from Moting, who goes to a 90. Um, I think that's probably, yeah, we'll have, we'll have a look at his card in a second. But they could have picked a few better players on this. I would have liked to have seen Mane because he hasn't featured that many cards. Um, but we'll see, right? So up in Meccano is probably the first one. Um, that we'll look at here I think the big thing with him is his inconsistent form lads I have the legend edition card of him and uh, he's always on B this guy's on A rating in fairness I've never really seen him to be down on the form arrows too much even though he has inconsistent uh, form he does have blocker interception he's got a nice height his acceleration is a little bit of a concern I always have it in my head that I need to have my center backs the way I play um, with kind of like possession and you know being kind of mobile on the ball I need my center backs to have at least 75 acceleration so you can get that with him but it's at the sacrifice of too much I would make an exception for somebody like here if I was playing a, a solid three at the back and I know that I can manually defend a lot um, but that is just depends on your play style he has really high defensive stats we will take a look at him over here on eFootball DB. So all the players are up here. I'll show you. Um, you can have a. I'll leave a link in the description below. But up in Meccano, let's go. This is his 94 rated version. I just want to show you if you are new to the game, right? A lot of people get confused about the 94 overalls, and you know, oh, surely a 92 overall center back isn't as good as a 94 overall. Well, I'll put it to you this way, right? This is how we've maxed out his overall rating here. So we've popped 12 into defending and 8 into aerial strength, 4 into lower body to bring his speed and stamina up a little bit as well. Now, personally speaking for me, lads, I genuinely think that going this route is probably the best route with him because he's so slow. Even if you were to just take, you know, put 4 into defending or 5 into defending, you'd still have tackling, aggression, engagement uh, into the 90s with the form arrow, Okay. Um, but if you even if you pop on you know nine into dexterity you've got 70 acceleration right in my opinion that's still a beastly player but i don't think it's worth those extra few points um for the acceleration you know i would definitely say try and get the defensive awareness up the tackling the aggression and defensive engagement if you're playing him you know what role you're trying to play him in do you know what i mean you're you're not trying to you're not trying to dribble out from the back you're not trying to pass the ball with him um you know you're basically using him as a complete stopper um now as a build-up that is going to be a little bit different as well but you'd be hoping for his player skills um that will knock on a little bit uh better we also have kingsley coleman lads this is his 94 rated version i don't think this is the best version of him so i'll show you my favorite version of him but you've just simply popped eight into dribbling dexterity and lower body that gives us speed acceleration and dribbling all into the 90s before we get the form arrow boost I would potentially leave off with the shooting, right? If you take the shooting away from here and you take the passing away from here, um, he's a super sub. So what you want to be doing when you're playing with him, unless you're starting off and he's going to be into your main 11, I would be having Kingsley as a as a kind of a, an impact sub, as a super sub, right? Double touch, you can come on, you can do a few dribbles, you've got really blistering pace. If you are using him as a substitute and bringing him on as a super sub, that is where I would go with him, uh, personally speaking. Uh, I wouldn't go that high with his speed and his stamina. I would probably max that at maybe 90 and 73 because you're not going to be playing him the full game. If you are playing him the full game, yeah, by all uh, accounts, 
uh, put him up to the 75 stamina. But for me, with my build, I'm going to be using him as a super sub or else I'm going to be starting him and taking him off after about 65 minutes um, to get the best out of him and then replace him with somebody that can do a similar role. Uh, so I would probably leave the stamina at that, leave that at four um, because it doesn't, you know, we only have to use four points to go up with that. And then I would probably pop up the dexterity a little bit more as well just to get the balance up. So once we hit 88 there, or 80 on the offensive awareness, um, we can go maybe 89, and then you can decide whether you want to either put more onto the acceleration to get 96 acceleration if you're going to be bringing out for pure blister and pace, or else you can pop two into dribbling to get his ball control up to 85 and his tight possession up to 81. So it just depends on how you want to train him up. That's going to be a 93 rated version of him um, as a super sub. Now, I think the thing is, lads, right, when you are spinning for these, um, it's kind of a look a look at the draw who you get. Like, I would say Goretzka would be my favorite one. There has been better versions of Goretzka here. Um, he's got unwavering form. He's got one touch pass. Um, there has been different versions of Goretzka as we see here. This is the one I have. Uh, I have that one, I think. I have this one, the Marvelous Midfielders, which was an insane card. But this Marvelous Midfielders card, lads, I mean, he has minus three aggression. Now, he has got 25 levels. This guy's got 23 levels. But this Goretzka is actually really good if you train him in a specific way. I kind of, like, regret training my Goretzka a little bit too defensively. Um, but I think for this card, it, it does kind of reward you for training him a little bit more defensively. Because you don't need the speed and the acceleration too much. Don't worry about 94 overall. Just worry about building the best card for you, right? more 80 speed is more than enough even for a center midfielder box to box in my opinion i know you've got 82 stamina but it's enough it's enough you're going to drain your your uh, energy anyway with the game the stamina system is a little bit kind of like heavy at the moment that you do drain a lot of energy um dexterity i would look to get that up a little bit as well or else go defending into into the 80s to have all those stats in the 80s if you want a defensive box to box and if you want a kind of a faster box to box you just pop the two into dexterity and get the boost there so he's going to be a jack of all trades lads he's not going to be uh, you know excelling in passing or dribbling but he does have everything as you see here he's one of the most complete box to box midfielders that you'll get if you do not have patrick vieira i think this guy is equally as good obviously without being Patrick Vieira he has everything you could possibly want one touch pass if you throw a blocker on him um on the additional skills uh he also turns into a monster but as I said there's been a lot of different versions of him um so if you have a previous version of him I don't think you really need to spin uh or well obviously you're going to get him for free but you know if you get him for free then you can just have that we also have Gnabry here as well all of these players are on a form to celebrate them winning the league um Gnabry is just your stereotypical winger we also had Kingsley Coleman there he's got standard form and again you're looking at really high dribbling acceleration balance and uh good ball control type possession and speed uh this is the 94 rated version again uh he doesn't have super sub but I wouldn't be giving him more than 75 uh stamina or 80 speed because you can use that elsewhere shooting wise I mean if you are if you do shoot a lot yeah you could go to the 78 mark there or else you could go to the 78 mark there with the low pass to get the boost um, but for me, obviously, I would probably just leave that off and I'd be like saying, look, my dribbler has a very specific role and that is to get in and just get chances in front of goal. So I would probably max out the acceleration and then I would probably, you know, pop up that finishing one to get it over the 75 mark. I know you're still only getting a 93 rated version of him, but that's not really a big concern. Um, if you like to shoot a lot, yeah, for sure, you can take this down and you could pop up the shooting to get it to 80 mark. Um, and then obviously that will help, especially with the balance and defensive awareness. If you like to get more of a shift in, you can also pop in a little bit to speed and stamina. It depends how you want to train them, lads, but they're the two options I would go with. And then last but not least, this guy is a bit of a weird one, lads, right? Because he is really low finishing, but really high offensive awareness. And the rest of his stats are really average. Even when you max out his dexterity and pop 11 into that, he's just way too slow. And he's also a dummy runner, which is a very strange play style to get used to if you're not used to playing with it before. Now, he is a super sub. So with that in mind, right, even though this is the 90 overall version of him, I'm not going to train him that way, right? So we're going to take that away. We're also going to take that away because he is so tall and he's good in the air. We're basically just going to use him as a battering ram um, and just get his physical contact up, get his offensive awareness up and get his lower body up. And that's pretty much what we're going to go with him there. Finishing at 80, we're probably going to cap that at like 78 um, and hope to get the boost. He is on unwavering form as well. So that's not really much of a concern. If, you know, I don't think this guy, you can buy somebody for GP lads that is going to cost very, very little to get a better player than him. Um, unless you're using the target man that is got like, like you know, 90 plus header 
Um, I don't think that you should be using this guy up front. So yeah, he's a bit of a bust if you do get him. At least you can only get him once and uh, you can get, you know, two of uh, the other four that are left. So that is it for me, lads. That is just a quick little review breakdown training guide of the free Bayern Munich players. We are now going to open up our pack just for ye and we're going to see who we get in our one free spin. We will have our other two free spins on our road to glory uh, when we do complete the event. So make sure you check in Monday for that. We will be streaming Monday again. Um, so yeah, so let's see who we get. It's a five star. I think it's going to be Coleman, lads. I have a feeling. It is Coleman. No, it's up in Meccano. Okay, so we get up in Meccano. That's not bad. We will probably use him in our road to glory, lads. Um, hopefully. So yeah, he'll be a big, a big throw in for our road to glory. And as I said, these players are going to make a huge difference for me and my road to glory. They wouldn't get a sniff of the bench even in my um, my other profile, like my Division One profile. So. Uh, yeah, we will be back quite soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, get in touch in the comments below and we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.